What's the sum of interior angles of any polygon? Let's start with a triangle. Its interior angles measure 30 degrees, 80 degrees and 70 degrees and they add up to 180 degrees. Let's take another triangle. Once again, the sum of its interior angles equals 180 degrees. One more, 180 degrees again. In fact, this holds true for every triangle. But why is that? Here's a triangle with angles A, B and C. Let's make a copy of this triangle and turn it upside down. These two sides are the same, so the triangle will perfectly align here. And here comes the angle C. Let's make another copy of this triangle and turn it again. This time, let's align with the other side. And this angle B comes here. Since we rotated both these triangles upside down, these two lines are parallel. So these three angles add up to a straight angle, making 180 degrees. And that's our visual proof. The sum of interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. Now let's use this to find the sum of interior angles of other polygons. Here's a quadrilateral with its four angles. We can divide it into two triangles like this. These two angles get divided into smaller angles. Now the three angles of each triangle must add up to 180 degrees. That's a total of 2 times 180 degrees or 360 degrees. So all these four angles add up to 360 degrees. Here's another polygon a pentagon with its five angles. By joining one vertex to the others, we get three triangles. Again, some angles are divided into smaller angles. But what's their sum? In each triangle, the angles add up to 180 degrees. So the sum of all these angles must be 3 times 180, which is 540 degrees. We can do the same with any polygon. Just take any one vertex and join it with all others. This way, we can divide it into triangles. But how many triangles will we get? A hexagon with six sides gives four triangles. A heptagon with seven sides, five triangles. An octagon with eight sides, six triangles. The number of triangles are always two less than the number of sides of the polygon. And what's the sum of their angles? For a hexagon, that's four times 180, 720 degrees. For a heptagon, 5 times 180, 900 degrees. Similarly, for an octagon, that would be 1080 degrees. So, any n-sided polygon can be divided into n minus 2 triangles and the sum of its angles must be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now using this, can you find the sum of interior angles of a decagon? That is a 10-sided polygon? Let us know in the comments.